Okay, so here we have the Hat Industry El Cid Andalusian Infantry. Um, what I wanted to say about this was that the um, the reason for getting this is because these figures are, in a sense, um, fairly unique for hats production and their sculpting. And when you look at what the sculptures are in the box, um, there is some commonality uh, with other eras and namely uh, we are considering that these figures um, are generic in a sense of the Muslim uh, warriors and now they are obviously in a uh, uniform that is um, something uh, to be influenced by their location which is southern Spain um, but they seem to be fairly heavily clothed for what you would think would be a very temperate climate. So, which is to say that it could be uh, the dress as you would see for fairly mountainous terrain and it may be cold and uh, that's the reason why these figures are dressed uh, or the uniforms existed the way they did. But suffice to say, uh, we're going to be using these as uh, a generic um, Arab or Muslim uh, force and uh, this is what we're going to be doing a couple of test paints to see how uh, they come out and it's my thinking that they should come out very interesting and that I'm hoping uh, by the feel of the plastic um, that they will uh, the plastic will take its painting uh, take the paint very well uh, because it does feel interesting it does not feel like glossy plastic it is soft, uh, but it feels uh, different. And uh, we'll, as we go through the painting, we'll, uh, we'll analyze that as we go through and do some more summary discussions and so on, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, in descriptions of the, of the figures themselves. Here, and as a matter of fact, um, we've got a figure with a bow uh, and a male uh, hubric and skirt, or, if you will, uh, and um, it's light infantry in a sense, um, but even so, even with the mail, uh, the chain mail, that wouldn't actually be a, a light infantry, um, but uh, as part of the, the overall kit for the Andalusian infantry, um, we can even see here on the box as well that uh, there's a mounted archer, which is good to see, and there's even a crossbowman. And if this is representing one sprue of the four, or is it three? We'll certainly have a look. Um, that's a good mix. We've got a good mix. We've even got a slinger, which would be great uh, to use in other eras. Um, and there's actually two, I think it looks like there's two uh, slinger figures. One is preparing and one is in the act of throwing. So that's uh, pretty good stuff. And we have two crossbowmen here, and uh, a, the bowman, and a uh, mounted uh, chainmail bowman, which is very good. So we're, I'm looking forward to getting these started and seeing how they come out. first going to have a look and analyze their their shapes and determine color schemes and which things to be painted first and so on with that much clothing that um, 
seems to be like that could be a lot of clothing that needs to be considered. Hmm. Just analyzing the details here. This may require a, um, a watery application of black to get this chain mail to come out. Let's try that. It is having an interesting effect as we see it dry. It's bringing out the, um, the definition of the chainmail. Could be a little bit So this is a heavily watered technique. 
whereas the paint is very th it's thinner than usual so that the details of this figure don't get lost I'm gonna do these actually I'm gonna do the entire figure and bring out see if we can bring out some of this detail his quiver and arrows And so, by contrast, the rest of the figure gets a normal application of paint density. And this is another example where the less you change paint, the fewer paint colors you use, the better. So I'm going to paint his feet in that same brown. It may not stay that way after I get mostly done, but for now, And yes, you can see here that it's true. The uh, sculptor <laughs> has put the arrow on the wrong side of the bow. That's one thing I've read about. The sculptor put the arrow on the wrong side. Very interesting. I'm only going through this like this for now. Uh, so that it's an uh, so it's I can analyze it and then create a uh, repeatable process. And we shall see if this brown is dark enough to cause a contrast. I don't think it is. It might be. No. Some of these browns are just no good.
you almost want to use black on these arrows. I'm going to go darker on his feet. Yes, and it would appear that the paint is adhering pretty well to these figures. I believe I rinsed these. I think these have been washed.
They don't know what to do about the straps yet, and they also don't know what to do about his sash. I'll start with the white. Again, I'm doing this onesie twosie, well, onesie, uh, and I'll set up for the mass production once I get the colors figured out. I think these colors are working. Okay, that's pretty much it for a hat Andalusian archer. Add a little bit of silver maybe to that mail and uh, well, let's try that. We got the gray under. Put some silver on there to bring out that uh, chain mail.
Okay, that's about it. It might almost be a little too much silver, but we'll see. It should be. It might be okay. Still not sure about that sash. And I'm also not sure about the strapping. Now that I got the silver on there, that strap should probably be dark. Maybe black.